Hello and welcome to Let's Try We're Trying Power Chord. This is the demo for Power Chord. Just to be clear, probably there might be some quirks going on. I don't know if the game is in early access, if this is an early access demo. It's so hard to tell these days, I don't know. Uh, all I'm going to say uh, right away is, uh, hey, uh, I'd really appreciate it if we didn't do cold open uh, basically intros for our games that are unskippable and also I have no access to the options in which I can turn down the volume and so it's very loud and I have to listen to it. My least favorite trope, I don't know, would you even call it a trope a quirk of, of games, especially when it's a game uh, themed around loud music, in which case the intro is going to be as loud as possible and I'm going to suffer through it and basically resent the intro almost immediately. Um, with that out of the way, I'm, gonna, I'm pretty excited about this game. Let's check it out. Um, if you don't know, this is a deck builder. Yes, we're doing another deck builder. It's uh, amazing how much this genre has basically exploded. Um, and there's a lot of deck builders now, and some of them are really good and very novel, and some of them are very much knockoffs of other deck builders with almost uh, verbatim mechanics ripped off. So um, I, I, I'm going to err on the side of optimism on this one and say that this is probably not that. Uh, this already looks like a pretty novel uh, deck builder, but we're gonna we're gonna see. Oh, like you know, on its immediate first you know uh, surface layer expectations, it's got some it's got a novel uh, aesthetic. So it's already got that going for it. So let's let's uh, see see what we can see. Um, add one barrier charge to a single something. It's gone now. How to play. This stubborn knight of the fabled Thunderfist wields powerful barriers to defend his band. These barriers will block an entire hit, no matter how much damage it does. Okay. Alright. That's pretty cool. Um, Grimnir Brawlfist. Oh, these are our characters. So we have, um, this has got to be the third or fourth uh, deck builder in a row where I've seen basically, like, um, deck building mashups where you have allies that add different cards to your deck. Not saying it's an unoriginal, I am saying that it is a theme I'm noticing in a lot of these games. So we have um, multiple characters and therefore they're going to add uh, their own kind of flavor to the deck. Deal 4 damage to a single enemy, deal 3 rage damage to a single enemy. This card increases its damage by spending rage charges. Gain 1 plus one, uh, gain plus 1 charge Rage charge, sorry, for each damage taken and on hit. So he gains uh, rage when he gets hit, and therefore the, he does more damage with his rage cards. We have four energy. We have four cards with one energy each. One could definitely assume that we can play all of these cards. Add three armor to a single ally. So, um, you know, as is uh, pretty standard, I guess, ish now, we can we, we pick who we want to add these barriers to. This adds armor? I don't know. It did say that, um, I guess a barrier charge is different. Blocks one hit of any damage amount. Well, it says, so we have 10 on one and eight on the other. So does this mean we're going to be taking multiple hits? Deal one damage two times to a single enemy. This is an attack, but it's blue. I guess this means that this is, uh, from our character here. Uh, so the blue cards are from one character. The red cards are from another character. Um, he's gonna do three damage, unstable and summoned. Exhaust when player played or automatically at the end of the turn. Summon disappears from the deck at the end of battle. So I guess you may as well use it, is what I'm thinking. Okay, so a barrier charge is different from armor. Um, I'm assuming this is armor. We're gonna do some damage. End turn. Do we keep the barrier charge? Uh, it doesn't matter because it, they uh, blocked an attack. So they have six health left. Deal four rage damage to us. We, we can kill them right now. Dead. So there's there is in fact like two. I, I mentioned this on stream a little bit uh, earlier back. There's a two deck building uh, battle band themed games um coming out this is this is power chord the other one is i think it's just called battle bands or battle of the bands uh which looks interesting it's got some like online co-op or something going on um but it's i think it's interesting you know these very 
like similar in theme and uh, mechanics kind of well maybe not mechanics they might be very different actually uh, only only time will tell weak singers can that can't hold a note alone but can power up the entire demon band okay so we have enemies that buff other enemies uh, I do I will say I like the aesthetic we've got like almost like um suicide squad kind of aesthetic going on here so we have stitch the medical enthusiast deal four damage to a single enemy and heal up to four health if health damage is dealt uh what deal four damage to a single enemy and heal up to four health if health damage is dealt well that's a interesting way of saying that grant two power charges to a single enemy Increases the damage dealt per hit, so this we, we can buff another of our allies to do more damage. Heal one, plus one health to the target whenever this character applies a buff. Okay, so they heal whenever they heal others. Our self-appointed medic is always happy to help, but it takes as much health as she gives. Okay. You're going to need to build charges to gain any momentum in a fight. Charges count down by one per turn, so make sure you use them. So we have um, some, I would say, fairly stock standard deck building mechanics, especially, I mean, like, I would say a lot of these were um, established, I mean, as, as far back as Dominion, but even by games by, like, Slay the Spire. But I would not say that they are verbatim. They are definitely, they feel like they are remixed. And uh, I don't feel like I'm just playing Slay the Spire again. Um, I, I'm sorry to be cynical about it, but, I you know, it's, it's felt... Um, you know, kind of like that lately with a lot of deck building games. This this feels pretty original. Uh, I am waiting for maybe some more mechanics to like kind of spice things up uh, so we can deviate uh, a little more from the formula. Deal four damage to a single enemy. So we want to get rid of this guy first, but we also want to grant some power charges maybe first. We can, um, well, we want to buff the character who's going to deal damage this turn, right? So we have our deal four damage. We know that that's this guy here. So good good um uh what do you call it conveyance by the way i really appreciate the color coding to let me know exactly who who these cards belong to so we're gonna buff our dude here so he's got some extra buffs so he's gonna deal six damage instead of uh, four so we're gonna do that on our dude there deal one damage two times we're gonna go ahead and just get get rid of that guy right away so he can't buff anyone and uh, someone's taking three damage this tells us that our medic is taking three damage, so we can go ahead and give them some barrier, and they will take no damage now. Add three armor to a single ally. Okay, so um, they're still buffed. They still have plus one charge. Grant two power charges. They're going to be dealing two attacks this turn, so we may as well buff them again. So now they have mega damage. And we can go ahead and throw all of that and kill kill the enemy right away. This is pretty cool. This is pretty satisfying. Very uh, kind of basic mechanic so far, but you know it's it's early. Um, but there's there even the the basic stuff right now is very satisfying. I do really like this comic book aesthetic that they got going on. I'm sorry I'm not paying any attention to the intro. Oh, in fact I can skip it and I will. Yeah, this seems really cool. I, I, I'm already pretty optimistic about this. The bodyguard, spotlight stealing, armored brutes. These drummers will take the hits meant for other demons. Okay, so they are a tank, and they will tank. We have a new character, Shinobi Thirteen, the Graffiti Ghost. Uh, yeah, got some, got some classic dice going on here. Deal one damage three times to random enemy dice roll. Uh, corrode, inflict three corrosion on a single enemy. Deals armor damage at start of turn. Okay, interesting. Deal plus one damage for each point of poison and corrosion on the target. Does this mean tar on the target, like on them, if they're taking poison damage, they deal more damage? They will deal do e extra damage to any enemy with a hit who has poison or corrosion. Oh, okay, no. So they do more damage to an enemy if they that enemy is also poisoned. Interesting. Um, so maybe we want to instead apply some, uh, a buff to our new character. They are going to take a hit, so why don't we go ahead and give them a, a barrier just to deal with that right away. And we'll inflict three corrosion on a single enemy. Let's do that on the tank since they have the armor. And we can, um, instead throw our attack out at the other guys since they don't have armor. 
I'm assuming if they have armor, they will take less damage or maybe none. Maybe it just hurts the uh, the armor and not the health. Stance card's effects last until broken by taking health damage or charging, changing to another stance. Okay, this is interesting. This is this is something I haven't seen too many times. It, maybe not at all, actually. Deal four damage to a single enemy and heal up to four health if health damage is dealt. A lot of stuff going on there. Deal two damage three times to random enemies. So this guy's corroded. Does this mean we're gonna deal? Uh, I wish I had like hover over. Oh, there we go. Deal one damage for each point of corro. Yeah. Okay. So they will deal extra damage if this two damage three times happens to hit our dude here. So let's go. Well, to random enemies. It, 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 yeah. Okay. So let's let's see what happens. So they it, it oh all all three hits ended up on our dude here and they did take extra damage. So that was really nice. Um, deal four damage to a single enemy and heal up to four health. Yeah, I don't know if we want to do that. Let's go ahead and use a charge just to block this damage here. Um, we can deal four damage or three rare rage damage to a single enemy. We don't want to do that. Can we possibly kill someone? Yes, we can. We can deal four damage to the tank and then we can deal one damage twice to the tank. So that's the tank done. I'm sure in the future we may not be able to know who the enemy is going to attack. That makes it very easy to tell who to apply the shield buff to. Um, let's go ahead and add some... Um, well, I guess no one's got a charge right now. We have the most cards on our blue guy here. I can't remember his name, but I think maybe we'll add it. Well, I, honestly... Hmm. Hmm. Let's add it to the medic. So then we can do six damage. And then we'll just kill them. I'm assuming this is just a tutorial. The uh, the actual game has another one of those kind of like maps where you get to make choices on what kind of battles we can uh, expect. So we've got uh, ourselves a, I can't remember, what is it called? I think it's called an Etten. Uh, if they're like two-headed monsters. So here we go. We have something uh, resembling the actual game um, So we can we can decide like what direction we want to take this one would provide us with a shop I think not really spoiled for choice. I gotta say most of these choices feel almost exactly the same But maybe that's just because it's the first you know, it, it's the demo for one thing, and it's also the first time we're playing through it. I assume this is one of those games where we're going to unlock variety, um, depending on, uh, you know, when we beat the game. Uh, the Wingman, the, these bases gain power while raining down attacks on your entire band. So we want to deal with that immediately. They also have armor, so that's not good. Yeah, they're going to be dealing damage. I love this conveyance. This is amazing conveyance. It tells us exactly who they're doing damage to, both here and here, we have exactly the information we need. Not every game is gonna be that forgiving in terms of like, or, or that transparent about what kind of information we get to have as the player. So why don't we go ahead and we're gonna buff our toxic dude, who is then going to do more, oh, I guess that was dumb because we they weren't actually doing any damage, so that's my bad. Shouldn't have done that. Um. Add three armor to a single ally. Well, we can we can do that. We we could do a little bit of defense. May as well. I guess only this guy is going to potentially take damage. Everyone else is going to uh, basically block the attack with their armor. This guy is going to gain a buff from that though because they're going to take damage. We might actually want them to take damage whenever possible. Ooh, this is seven damage. That's kind of nasty. So let's go ahead and block that. Then we're going to go ahead and, uh, oh, we can add more power charges. We may as well to our toxic friend here. So then they can deal more damage, potentially. Ooh, two hits. Yeah, that was amazing. And then we'll kill this guy. Perfect. I, I didn't even really take any damage there. I do really like the character designs. They're, they're fun. Choose a reward, plus a bounty of plus 35 honeycombs. I'm assuming this is a, a currency gain plus two power charges. That's kind of nice. I like a zero cost card that support. Deal five damage to a single enemy and add one barrier charge to ally team on armor break. 
Oh, I see. So we can pick between these two cards or we can have some more money. Let's go ahead and take the, uh, the buffing card. That was a pretty easy first match. So I almost uh, like it, it's got a very Borderlands aesthetic. It's not just that it's comic booky. It's not just that it's cell shaded, and it's not just the character design. It's all of those things combined. Feels very much like it's straight out of Borderlands. Reckless basis built for lots of small random strikes. So they are slowly introducing us to all of the different enemy types. Um, looks like we don't have any buff right now. Deal five, three rage damage. We don't want to do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let them take those hits. I think that I would rather do some damage. One damage three times to random enemies. None of this is very good right now. We don't have the things that we need. Might as well do some damage. Our medic here is going to take a damage, but they can also heal. So she's, she's taking the first actual damage. So now we can actually add some power charges. Um, this guy can now charge himself, so we may as well also add our power charges to him because then that will make him even more powerful. Uh, then we can actually deal an attack and we'll do... Do we want to do corrosion, add three armor to a single ally? Eh. Let's go ahead and throw this on here. It's too bad we couldn't kill this guy, but he's going to be doing something. I don't know what he's going to be doing. Protector. Guard a single ally and gain up to eight armor. Oh, God. We should have added the corrosion to him. Because he's going to get a bunch of armor now. That was silly, but I didn't actually know that he was going to do that. I need to pay closer attention to what he's actually going to do. Deal two damage two times to a single enemy. We're going to go ahead and let this guy take that damage so that he deals more damage. Um, deal four damage to a single enemy and heal up to four. We don't need to do that, and it costs two, so it's actually not very cost effective. Let's go ahead and throw this out. Wear him down. Maybe we can get a lucky kill here. Oh, yes. Lucky kill. Nice. Deal one damage two times to a single enemy. Uh, no, I guess this is actually cost effective compared to that. And we heal one, so... I don't know what they're going to be doing. I should have paid closer attention to what they're doing. They're confused. They're doing nothing. So we get a free turn. So let's go ahead and charge this guy up to deal the, the last blow. Defender Bloodlust Stance gain one rage for each health damage dealt by this character. Exhaust. Um... Gain one rage for each health damage dealt. So this is an interesting card. This one's going to pay off more in the late stages of a battle than the early ones. Guard a single ally and gain four armor. Yeah, let's take that. I feel like that would be good. I don't know uh, what's going to happen. Like, say, if a character dies, are they dead for the rest of the, in, uh, of the campaign? An aggressive guitarist that lashes out and a flurry of strikes and hypes up when you hit it in a stance. The Berserker, okay. So this is a Berserker and it might be that hitting them uh, or killing them last is actually what we want to do. What are they going to do right now? Gain one power charge each time this character takes armor damage. Remains active. So we might want to hit them now. Except they're in a stance. They're already in the Berserk stance. So they're going to take... Gain one power charge each time they take damage. So that's n not great. If we can kill them in one blow, that would be ideal. Or at least get rid of all of their armor in one attack. They didn't seem to gain anything from that. Maybe we interrupted their stance by removing their armor. I have seen that mechanic uh, before. Um, so it might be that's the thing. Guard a single ally and gain four armor. Uh, let's go ahead and guard this ally because he's, and then we can, yeah, give them a barrier. So we're going to take zero damage. All right. 
So we have uh, another attack from our red dude, which is good. We can also add corrosion to an enemy and then deal some random damage. Um, may as well, I don't know if that's the thing to do. Also, this might accidentally hit the Berserker, and I think that will actually give them... Oh, it doesn't seem to. They, they don't seem to be getting their, their powers, power charges. So maybe I interrupted that, uh, that thing, and it was just telling me what Berserker was. They weren't actually in the Berserker stance. Can deal six damage to a single enemy. I think we can get rid of this guy right now. No, we can't. I ran out of energy. Don't mind the medic getting hurt because um, they can heal up. I'm going to consistently uh, buff this guy because he's going to deal the most damage. So we can just go ahead and kill that guy right away and then kill this guy as well. And we can heal the medic um, in a future turn. Maybe even now. Yes, right now, in fact. So they heal four. Um, and we can go ahead and kill them with our, our red dude. So this is going very well. Not too difficult right now. Fever pull. Transfer all debuffs from a single ally to self. Interesting. Summon three random toxic toxin cards. Cannot be... Oh, it's, it, it gets exhausted. Yeah, let's do that. I, I kind of like the um, toxic uh, mechanics. So we get an extra award. Pin, uh, spined pick. Oh, I like the 3D effect. That's kind of fun. All, dam all spells cause an extra hit for one damage to the same target. Also deals one damage to this character. So we can apply that to someone. Each band, band member can carry four items that they, only they can use. Gear cannot be moved after it has been equipped, so choose wisely. Oh, interesting. So any spell, got extra, an extra hit for one damage to the same target. I think it would be good to add to this guy because he has, um, he'll deal extra damage if that person is also toxic. So let's go ahead and do that. Maybe there's a better choice, but uh, I'm not playing for optimization right now. I'm playing to, to try and see as much as I can see. Ooh, we got a lot of enemies here. Any new ones? Yes. The Meat Shield. Aggressive drummers with thick hides that lash out with a flurry of rapid strikes that can attack twice while in their stance. Cowardly guitarists that hide behind other demons while building up power charges. Wow, there's a lot of new ones. Malevolent singers who focus on ruining your plans by corroding armor, weakening your attacks, and amplifying the damage your band takes. So I honestly don't know who to prioritize here. It sounds like this, this guy here is going to charge up a mean attack. Deal four damage to a single enemy and gain two power charges. Wow. So we've already got some mean stuff going on. Um, let's buff our dude here. I'm going to let him take that two damage so that it buffs him as, like even more. Can we take anyone out with this 15 damage? Uh, no, it looks like no. Um, that's a shame. We can get real close though. We can, we can get real close to taking this guy out. So he gets that rage. Oh, he has a, another thing on him though. What does this do? Instability increases the damage received per hit. Oh, so he got debuffed. That's no good. Um, all right, let's go ahead and inflict corrosion on this guy. Summon three random toxic cards. Let's go ahead and do that. Inflict three corrosion. Oh, these are really expensive actually. We'll go ahead and throw this on him as well, and then we can throw our attack out, and if he gets hit, he'll get hit for six damage. It didn't happen, but we did take out one of our dude, one of one of the demons, so that's that's fine. He is gonna take six corrosion damage nonetheless, and he did have the most armor, so um, my my attack there was not wasted. So she has been debuffed for weakness. That's pretty brutal. Um, gain two power charges. Yeah, we want to do that. It costs zero, so we should always do that. Inflict three corrosion to enemy team. Okay, that's actually very worth it. 
Um, let's go ahead and throw this barrier on her so she doesn't take seven damage. And we'll let him take four damage so it inc imp like further improves his rage charges. Oh, I see. He attacked twice, so she still took four damage. Brutal. And uh, to a single enemy, and heal up to four health if health damage is dealt. So we do want to heal her if possible. Um, this is going to do a lot, so we want to make sure we can do this. Actually, let's we'll go ahead. We can't, unfortunately, heal her. It costs two, uh, and I really want to use this guy's ability. So I'm going to go ahead and use as much corrode as possible and then do our dice roll because he's going to do a massive amount of damage to each of them look at that oh oh my god that was so good two kills with one attack so interesting we've, we've got like a really kitchen sink kind of um deck builder here they've they've really amalgamated a lot of mechanics um but, you know, they don't feel samey. They feel uh, basic for now, but that's actually okay. It makes it, like, since we have all of them, like, we have healing mechanics, we have the to toxic mechanics, we have the rage mechanics, we have um, kind of tank mechanics. And so, yeah, it, it feels like you've got a lot of choice for methods and strategies, which is really cool. I'll go ahead and de deal 13 damage. We did take quite a bit of damage there, though, so I'm gonna have to focus on healing in maybe in the future. We're like we're not in dire straits by any means. Stance: Allies gain one health each time they do health damage to the enemy. Well, who does health damage? Only one of them does health damage. Oh, I guess health damage means not armor damage, so that actually doesn't that makes more sense. Stance: Gain one rage for each health damage taken by an an ally. Oh, this is an epic stance for our friend here. One rage for each health damage taken by an ally. Oh, okay, this is really nice, actually. By an ally, meaning, like, anyone else takes damage, he's going to be buffed. We want to maybe remove some cards. Yeah, burn a card. Um, do we have enough to do both? 75. Can we afford both? It looks like no. So we can... Oh, wait, maybe we can buy it in this one. Add one damage to all attacks for each barrier charge. Uh, the blue guy is not really um, good for doling out damage so much as they are for helping, like, buffing your friends or uh, defending them. We could get, gain a gear item. Gain plus one energy charge whenever four cards are exhausted. Gain two power charge each time a curse card is drawn. Gain one energy charge when taking health damage. Well, this is amazing because we can add this to our friend here. And that'll mean that they gain even more rage charge every time they take damage. We have another shop, but we have no money now. So never mind. Um, so we definitely want to heal. Um, I guess if we went up here, we'd have the option of two rewards. It'd be kind of nice if one of these redirected, like, all went to the heal and this, because then we could see how we fare on the the battle and then choose afterwards but it looks like there's healing later so actually i think i will take the risk we'll see what what kind of bosses this game has to offer uh they're not telling us about them so they're just really tough that's that's their whole thing what's this Token of power grant pl grant plus one power charge to a random ally at the start of each turn. So we have to get rid of this guy immediately. And then this one is tiny fortress gain plus eight armor when taking any stance if at zero armor. Okay, so he's not as much of a priority. So we want to inflict some corrosion. Summon three random toxin cards. This was pretty nice, but yeah, I guess we do want to do this. So let's go ahead and throw a power cord or whatever on this guy. And then we're going to corrode that guy, summon three, and we'll inflict three poison. Ooh. Yeah, let's go ahead and poison this guy twice. Oh, we don't have enough energy. Oops. So that's going to give this guy rage. He's not taking health damage, and well, fortunately or unfortunately... Um, so he's not in yet going to get the double rage from both of his uh, abilities. 
Oh, interesting. If I hover over them, they tell it tells me what cards they have. That's actually really cool. Um, we're gonna need to heal our friend here. So what I'm gonna do, we'll we'll throw this out. Hopefully that does the yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that was actually a lot nicer than I was expecting. I was hoping to wear the armor off so that we can deal um, health damage with our friend here. Maybe it would be worth. Wow, we don't have any. We only have rage. Okay, we'll do we'll do seven rage damage. Oh, then then I can't afford it. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let him take five damage, and then I'm gonna put a barrier on her. I don't know if that barrier is removed when a when a turn is passed. So now he's gaining even more um, from getting hit, and that's gonna come in handy because we're doing rage damage now. Luckily, we drew the after. Uh, sorry, arterial bite. So she's going to be able to uh, get some health back. I do want to put him in the stance because that would be really good, actually. Um, and we'll charge him up. Oh, and now I've 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 blundered it. I didn't have enough to actually throw out my attack, which would have killed this guy. Add one barrier. Um, well, we want him to take damage. It's only two damage. I don't know. I'll give her another barrier. Why not? So his damage is going to become absurd, probably in the late game. Two power charges. Unfortunately, we don't have any health. So I may as well add this on to him. I don't know if that was maybe the wrong move. We can poison this guy twice. I do like the uh, sort of distinctive characteristic, like they're, they're using their instruments and so we get these kind of funky sound effects from each of them as they do their attacks. This guy is actually kind of getting down low on, on his health. Let's throw this out and then we'll see how much damage we can do with our strum. Well, that's going to exactly do it. We did take a little bit of damage, but some of that damage was intentionally taken. Choose a reward. Channeling Rosary. Gain two, plus two energy charges if this character plays no damage cards on a turn. Well, that's actually perfect for this guy because he tends to not do that. I don't know what energy charges do. I should have uh, paid greater attention to that. Energy decreases the energy cost of the next spell. Oh, interesting. So we could play his cards possibly for free. I'm gonna take the. I'm gonna continue taking risks and see what that mystery is. Gain plus one team energy on kill. Oh well, we gotta we gotta throw this that on this guy. Since he's he's doing a lot of the killing. Although, I don't know, maybe we should have put it on the bases, because he has been doing quite a lot of damage as well. Okay, so we can do this stance right away. That would be ideal. We'll throw a barrier on her, and we'll gain two power charges. Now, do I do corrosion damage, or do I do six damage to someone? We could do six damage to him. Yeah, let's do six damage to him. He's almost dead already now. I just noticed she's taking five damage total, but not from one person. So she's still going to end up taking one damage. That's actually great because that means that he's going to gain a charge from his uh, his shirt of fury. Is it? Who? What does he get? When does he get it? Gain plus one team energy on on kill. What is he? When does he? Oh, I see. It's it's his stance. Um, yeah, one rage for each health damage taken by an ally. So that's that's what we what we like to see. Um, so let's go ahead and add two power charges to this guy, and then they can do three damage three times. I was kind of hoping for a kill there, but that's actually ideal because then she can do four dam health damage to this guy and gain some health. We're also going to shield her so she doesn't take any damage. 
Oh, and this guy's got uh, free energy now, so he can play all of his cards for free. Guard a single ally. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, except when you use up that free energy, it is gone. So it reduced the cost of our cards, but then you don't get to keep it. I mean, that makes sense. Um, all right, so deal seven rage damage to a single enemy, grant two power cords, sorry, power charges to, so we wanna do that to our red guy. Um, we could do some inf corrosion damage. Let's let's do this first. They're gonna do nine damage. Let's get rid of this blue guy. And actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna summon three random toxins. So ugh, that did not. I was hoping for for free poison basically, uh, so we could get rid of this guy as well. But that's not gonna happen. All right, let's uh, throw the corrosion on this guy. He's going to add guard to someone. Deal six damage to a single enemy. Oh, he's gonna do, we're doing a lot of damage to this guy. Add a, let's go ahead and let him block that completely. Deal two damage to, let's not play that cause then we'll get to, we'll get some free energy. So they've been buffed. I'm not sure how, oh, they have extra power. Okay, so that's, that's not good. So let's go ahead and buff this guy. Oh, I guess we can give him a stance. Do we, does this, hmm. Does he not already have that stance? Yeah, he does. So does playing it again mean he gets more rage charges every time some, uh, uh, an ally takes damage? Also, he's about to take 12 damage. We can't let that happen. So let's give him a barrier, because he's still going to end up taking some damage, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and throw this out. That finally got rid of that guy, so that's good. He's taken major damage from this spined pick. Cause an extra hit for one damage to this same target. Also deals one damage to this character. So they are they're taking some major damage from, from using that. Um... Let's go ahead and we'll, we'll we'll protect them for but later you know later <laughs> we can uh, kill this guy and also heal up our our medic so he's gonna end up taking four damage this is total oh no never mind he has the barrier so he's gonna take zero damage which isn't great it would be better if he had taken the damage because then he would have only taken like a little bit of damage um okay this is not ideal we want to give her a barrier. And we just want to deal a bunch of damage to this guy. It's almost enough to kill him, but not quite. Um, guard a single ally and gain four armor. We can't guard him as well. Oh, I see. So, okay, so that switches our thing. So that's like a stance. We are we can only protect one ally. We should not have protected him. That was the worst one, but I, I'm just trying to learn the mechanics. That was me just trying to figure out what, what would happen there. Um, so we don't want the purple dude to actually fight anymore. So instead we're gonna poison this guy and see if that maybe just kills him. Yeah. Nice. Um, deal two damage two times to a single enemy. We don't want this. Swap corrosion and poison effects on a single enemy. Might honestly just want, let's just take the money this time. All right, so what is this mystery? Pick a fight because you're bigger and stronger. You hear a shout, uh, uh, shouting band of demons leave out the back of the museum of violent art. You can't tell what they've been, what they've taken, but it's shiny and stealing from a demon might be the most noble thing you do today. Want to try your luck? Try to, yeah, all right, let's try it. Who are we fighting? Is this a new type of demon? Have I seen this one before? Apparently I have. All right, let's uh, go ahead and throw our stance on the red guy. We'll also give him a power up. Um, we'll po power him up a lot and we'll add a barrier to this guy and we'll add three corrosion to someone so that they take some armor damage. I could have used my last thing there, but that's fine. Uh, 
All right, um, let's go ahead and throw a barrier on her. Guard a single ally for and gain four. Okay, so we'll go ahead and guard him. I don't know if that's gonna guard the damage he might take from doing damage. That would be interesting if true. Um, okay, let's dole out some hurt. I did not mean to do it on him. I meant to actually do it on him, but that's that's okay. We'll still deal some extra damage. And I'm gonna continue not um, doing damage. I guess you only get to have one max. Maybe. Gain plus two energy charges if this character plays no damage. Oh, okay. So never mind. Uh, he d he did get it. Um, so I'm gonna not play this now because that knowing that he he's taking like major damage every time that happens, it's not great. He's been debuffed horribly, so that's really not good. We gotta get him back up. Um, let's get rid of this guy. I think he's the one that debuffed. And we'll continue uh, defending our, our medic so they take no damage. Um, we can do a stance. I don't know. Like, let's see. Does that mean... Yeah, okay. So they just it just renews the stance. It's a completely wasted card. Once you've played it, it's it's it doesn't do anything. Um, gain two power charges. So we really don't have much to do here. We can um, get some toxic cards. These are nice because they do damage without hurting our dude here. Um, may as well throw it on this dude. So he's, he's take, he takes health damage. You take They take health damage from the poison. So it is better than corrosion in some forms. In one way, anyway. Corrosion is still nice, though. Inflict three corrosion to enemy team. This, I think this would be worth doing. Me. Yeah, yeah, may as well. And then we can add an extra corrosion to this guy, since he has more armor. Add a barrier. We'll let this guy take four damage. Um... May as well add it to this guy, so he can defend. Guard a single ally and gain four armor. Yeah, we'll 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 just let those go. So this guy, oh, he got hit twice, so he gains double the rage. So he's gonna do 18 damage. Let's just take this guy out with one hit. That's awesome. Um, we'll go ahead and add more. Corrosion and poison to this guy. I should have added, I guess power charges don't affect that. We'll block the damage. And this went well. We we are kind of low with some of our allies. If I could buy a, a card that helps to heal, I might do that. May as well charge up that last attack. Swap Corrosion, Stance Gain, one power charge each time a card is exhausted. I don't like either of these. I'll, I'll take the money. And what did we get for doing that? We were supposed to get like a weird thing, but apparently we didn't. Need some health? Hel heal one musician back to full health. Heal the band 30% for everyone. Raise the dead. Oh, okay. So this is where you can, if one of your members dies, that's interesting. Um, yeah, let's heal the band 30%. I think we'll get the most bang for our buck there. We're definitely going to want to go to the store. We can burn some cards. Might be good. We definitely want to buy some red cards because he's he's gaining... We get the most from our red dude, do, like, making kills. Deal two damage two times to a single random enemy and cleanse all personal buffs. What does that, what does that mean, cleanse? I don't know what this means. I didn't mean to buy it. Oh my god. Did not mean to buy it. Deal two damage to a single enemy. Uh, and add two instability charges if they have armor. Um, I think I want to just buy both of these. But I don't know if I have enough and then also to buy one of these. Game plus one armor each turn. Shop prices are 25% cheaper. Okay, all damage cards used by this character cost one less energy. Wow. Uh, yeah, let's throw that on this guy. And we'll buy, um, 
And power has double effect. Okay, let's go ahead and buy that. So we're we're gonna I'm gonna lean heavily on our on our DPS here. And they have all of the the stuff. And we'll go ahead and heal another 30%. That'll mean we get all of our health back. So this is pretty cool. I'm I'm enjoying this quite a lot actually. This massive drummer enjoys throwing waves of minions at your band and they will destroy their own backup to gain power charges. Okay. So he can start doing damage again. Summon three. Yeah, let's do this right away. Um, it's too bad. Inflict three poison on enemy team. Well, this is worth doing now, actually. Oh, he has a hundred health. Let's do it now. Unfortunately, he didn't. He, if he had taken one more damage, he would have taken a health damage. That would have been very good for us. Um, grant two power charges, so we're gonna we're gonna dole out some damage. If he um, kills this guy, that would give us all energy. So we gain more more energy. We'll inflict some corrosion to this guy. It's a real shame this is the only guy not taking damage for some reason. Uh, let's go ahead and defend this guy since he's going to... We can do damage with him and it would be worth doing so. But um, if he's taking a lot of damage, it's, it's not going to be good. So instability, I believe that takes care of armor. Increase the damage receipt. Oh, that's actually really bad. Okay, let's um, do our stance. This is a good time to do that. Deal 11 rage damage to a single enemy. Deal 5 damage 2 times to a single enemy and cleanse all personal buffs. I don't know what this means. Let's see what that means. I really hope it doesn't mean remove all buffs. I think it did. So it's like a finisher move. You want to do that when you're at your, like, your, your peak and then you have to build up all of your power charges again. I don't know if I like that. So he's going to summon some more uh, stuff. So let's go ahead and guard this guy and also do, you know, put some protection on. And we're all good here. I'm not going to play our attack so that we gain that uh, extra energy. This is, it's actually good that he summons people because it, it's going to give us more energy overall. Um, okay. Give him some power charges. We'll do some health damage to this guy so that we heal. Uh, this is actually not bad, except for the fact that yeah, everyone's taken damage. We might as well give this guy armor because he's taken the attacks for both him and our toxic dude. It's a real shame this isn't going to kill anyone. I might have done the dice roll, but the poison's gone, so... So he just got a ton of rage because now that he has the stance, he gains rage for everyone taking damage. He's going to be doing ridiculous damage, but only when the attack is affected by rage. Deal 12 damage. That's going to kill this dude, so we're going to get some more, um, some more uh, uh, energy. Inflict 3. Oh, this is a shame. Well, I guess it's worth doing. But I feel like it would be better to throw corrosion. I mean, we'll we'll do it all. Oh, 14 damage. Yeah, we have to let make him not take 14 damage. I assume when an ally dies, by the way, you can't play their cards. It would be good to know how that works, but you know, it's fine. So Oh, 33 rage damage. Okay, we can do a lot of damage right now. We want to put the corrosion on him because then we'll do a ridiculous amount of damage with this because he has 11 and 2 poison. He's going to take 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14. <laughs> so I just did like 60 damage with that and then we can finish him off. 
Oh, wow. That was really cool. That was definitely, we, we start, started to see how your deck can really come together and and uh, kind of blow up in, in a really fun and exciting way. Um, this is really cool. I definitely think I'll be picking this up when, when it comes out. Um, I, I like the aesthetic. They've definitely, I, I appreciate that it's not just like, you know, a, a kind of battle band aesthetic. They've also gone for this kind of post-apocalyptic comic book style, which is really cool. Love that, love that Kirby crackle they're doing on the, on the <laughs> title and, and stuff. It's, that's fun. Um, I think this is really cool and it's got a lot of interesting things going for it. Uh, if you found, found this enjoyable or informative, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.